Hi everybody, it's Julie with Stitches of Love Quilting. Today I want to talk to you about my binding and how I work with the binding on such a little piece as a mug rug. Some of this is the same as what I do with my regular binding on larger quilts. So your kit comes with a piece of binding which is two and a half inches by the width of fabric. So what you want to do is open it up and then um, what I do is I like to use spray starch. Press your little binding strip and on one end you want to fold it at a 90 degree angle to the piece. So fold it similar to this. You have plenty. 42 inches is way plenty to go around this piece. So you want to fold this up. Just leave yourself a little tail there. Press it down and then open it up and take a Pigma pen. It's important to use a Pigma pen because when you wash your piece, if you use some other kind of ink pen, like a gel, just a pen you're gonna write with, it's gonna, it, it has a chance of bleeding and spreading and getting black all over your piece. You don't wanna do that. So then just take your Pigma pen and draw in the line that you folded. This helps you later when you get ready to sew. Finish it up at the very end. So you're gonna have that like that. I like to take a pair of scissors and I cut it about a quarter inch away from that line. I didn't bring a pair over here with me. Then you're going to fold this up and I spray starch it. I sometimes use just um, the stuff in the can you buy in the grocery store for a dollar but I also like Mary Ellen's Best Press. That works very nicely too. Usually has a very nice scent. So press this in half. Assuming you're using your spray starch, it's gonna stay very nicely. And you wanna press it all the way, the entire piece, okay? Simple, just as you always do. And now we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and I'll show you what I do there with a little mug rug.